driving. Supra! No way! <laughs> For real? That Supra right there. No way! <laughs> what? Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. So this is a 1997 Mark IV Supra, and it's my first time driving not only a Supra, but a right-hand drive car. So I'd be lying if I wasn't a little bit nervous, you know what I'm saying? It's a nice car. And what's really cool about this is, although it looks insanely modified, a lot of cosmetic stuff going on here, which is pretty crazy from the canards, the splitter, the carbon fiber hood to the, the wing over here, it's decently stock. It's probably making about 300 horsepower. It does have the 2JZ GTE engine, but it's just like bolt-ons, which is perfect because that's what I want to experience. I want to see what this car was like the way it came out or slightly modified rather than trying to drive a 1500 horsepower monster, not really getting a feel for what the car was when it came out. In addition to that, the seats, the interior, other than like a steering wheel and shift knob, and the, a million gauges is pretty stock also. So I'm excited to just get a good feel of what the Mark IV Supra was like. Where are the keys? Oh God. Okay, this time's for real. I, I had the keys. I don't know how to slide the seat forward. How do you... Oh, it's power seats? Okay. All right, all right. First time. God. Holy shit, okay. All right. So far, so good. This is weird being on this side of the vehicle. This is a little steering wheel. As always, I already love the interior because the Mark IV has every, it feels like a, not that I've been in a fighter jet, but it feels like a cockpit. Like everything is just pointed at you. Passenger gets nothing just an absolute driver's car let me get used to this clutch jesus and i gotta get used to shifting in a uh, my super is automatic i don't know what i'm doing here Woo -hoo, woo -hoo -hoo. okay all right all right <laughs> the sounds <laughs> it sounds amazing. Okay, and I get what Gels was saying because he's been driving the Sentry. I don't know what the Japanese stuff is yelling at me for, but he's been driving the Sentry and he's like, it feels so weird looking over at the left side of the car. It seems so far and it absolutely does. I'm glad we're stopping because I don't have any of my mirrors adjusted and they're manual mirrors. Point in towards me a little bit. Yeah, they're stiff. More, 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 more. Okay, now tilt like back. Okay, and then can you like level it out? It's like kind of angry. Yeah, yeah, perfect. That should be good. Thank you. <laughs> got a noisy clutch on her. Let's see if this is reverse. I hope it is. I hope it's not six gear. No, but it's six gear. Okay. Oh, it's got reverse lockout. That makes sense. Okay, got it. Oh, it hit my head. I didn't stall it. I didn't. That wasn't, that was me turning off the car really fast. All right, we're off to a terrible start. I lost my backpack with everything in it. I forgot it at driver. So we're gonna run back real quick. And, uh, Hopefully it's still sitting outside. I'm 
such a big dumb idiot. I got so excited. <laughs> it sounds so good. Hopefully you guys don't get too much wind noise, but I want to drive with the windows down because I, I just really want to hear this thing. I really hope my backpack's there. I have my MacBook in there and all my stuff. Oh my God. Shifting is, I gotta get used to that too. It's, when I was younger, I always thought too that right-hand drive cars, the shifter would be flipped, but it's the same, which makes sense. I think I forgot my backpack, so. No, I think it's on the outside. I'm gonna check real quick. Thank you, appreciate it. Oh, the guys at Driver are so nice. hope it's here oh it is thank god i see it i see it i got visual i got visual oh thank god i'm holding everybody up right now and that is such dakota fashion to do something stupid okay all right I hope they didn't leave without me. Yeah, we're all good. Oh, gotcha. Okay, gotcha. I feel like I'm doing something illegal. Just driving this car. <laughs> I feel like a little kid on Christmas. And honestly, just a little bit nervous. Like, a little bit of pee in the pants type nervous. <laughs> it feels so raw. Let's go say hi to Jules and Alex quick. <laughs> this is the coolest shit ever. Dude, to just get some Japanese as fuck cars and cruise with the boys. I'm gonna go catch up to Jell's now. differences between the cars and I would say the interior is probably the biggest I would say the the newest Supra has no design cues from the mark IV at all and admittedly like I really like how comfortable the the new Supra is but I love how driver oriented this one is like the car makes you want to go find a twisty road and drive it and I like I feel like that's what I've been looking for in a car for so long. Just a driver-oriented car, and I think that's cars I've gravitated towards as I've got to experience more and more, is ones that really try to focus on the drive and not all the other new shit that they put in cars nowadays. It's not about heated seats or a heated steering wheel or Apple CarPlay. It's about getting out and driving. I, I haven't turned on the radio. I haven't even tried, I haven't thought about it. I don't want to. I want to hear the sounds of the car and just to be driving with your buddies. And it, it's a surreal feeling. I think the only thing 
that's similar to the A90 is that I hit my head on the window getting in and out. They, they decided to take that and keep that going. We just passed a cop. I hope we're... I don't know kilometers per hour to miles per hour, so I'm trusting everyone in front of me. I think we're rolling up to VIR. <laughs> it never gets old. Oh, wait. Okay. Because, oh, it's like right on the border of North Carolina and Virginia, I think. Okay, that makes more sense. I'm geographically challenged. Never in my life did I think I'd be pulling up to a car show in a Mark IV Supra. Oh my god, this, this is some bucket list shit, for real. I've been thinking about it. Driving right-hand drive for the first time is very similar to trying to write your name with the opposite hand that you use. Like, that's, that's what it feels like. Like, can you do it? Yes. Can you do it well? Probably not. And you're just like a little uncomfortable doing it. feels backwards. That, that's kind of what it's like. But I, I've definitely gotten used to it. it. It doesn't take like super long to get, you know, kind of the hang of it and what it feels like. Still, obviously, it doesn't feel supernatural, but supernatural ghost. This is so cool. I got fucking goosebumps. It's been a while since I've even been to a car show in general. I wanted to grab the speaker to get the door handle that's actually here.